Hello everyone, I'm Margaret and welcome to Deliciously Sweet and Savory. Today I'm going to show you how to make picadillo. This recipe is based on how my Cuban family makes this dish. It's an extremely simple dish to make and incredibly flavorful. So let's get started. For this recipe you need one and a half pounds of ground beef, green olives, raisins, one large onion, potatoes, a medium sized red pepper, half of a medium sized green pepper, garlic powder, salt, cumin, and saffron. The addition of the raisins and potatoes is very typical for Cuban style picadillo. However, you can leave those out if you want. First, we need to prepare a few of the ingredients. Soak the raisins in water for about 15 to 20 minutes. Put enough water so that the raisins are covered. Next, finely chop the green and red peppers and the onions in a food processor or by hand. Now place the meat in a large pot, break up the meat, and heat on high heat. But continue to stir and break up the meat. You want the meat to be very refined without any large clumps. Continue to cook the meat until it's lightly brown, but not fully cooked. Next, add the garlic powder, salt, saffron, cumin, onion, green pepper, and red pepper, and mix thoroughly. Now add the green olives and olive fluid, and drain the raisins and add those to the meat as well. Then mix thoroughly. Reduce the heat to medium and let cook for 20 to 25 minutes with the lid covering the pot. Make sure to stir the pot occasionally throughout the cooking process. While waiting, you can prepare the potatoes. Peel the potatoes and cut them into cubes about a quarter inch in size. Next, put oil in a frying pan so it's at least a quarter inch deep and heat on high heat. Use one piece of potato to test if the oil is hot enough. If you see bubbles, the oil is ready. Carefully add the potatoes to the oil and cook until they have a golden brown color. Then use a strainer to remove the potatoes from the oil and place on a mesh rack. By this point, the meat should be done. If there is still too much fluid in the meat, just let it cook for another five minutes. Once the meat is done, add the potatoes and mix to evenly distribute. Then the meat is ready to serve. Picadillo has a great combination of flavors between the meat, seasonings, and vegetables. And the addition of the raisins adds a sweetness to the dish that contrasts perfectly with those flavors and the saltiness of the green olives. Picadillo is typically served with rice, but it can be used to make empanadas, Cuban meat pies, and even things like tacos, nachos, and burritos. This recipe is very versatile and has so many uses. It's also another simple recipe where you just put everything into a single pot to cook with the exception of the potatoes. This recipe is quick to make and extremely flavorful, so definitely give this recipe a try. For more recipes like this one, visit my website, which also has the written recipes and ingredient amounts. You can also follow my channel. I'd like to take a moment to thank my patrons for their support. If you'd like to become a patron to support my channel, visit my Patreon page. Also, if there are any recipes, Cuban or otherwise, that you'd like to see, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and see you soon with another recipe.